on our way to the airport. Bad, bad accident. And, of course, we're in front of the line waiting what seems to be forever. And I was just trying to make the airport for this trip. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to a travel vlog with the Bearded Bobber, and uh, we are flying to Dallas, Texas. That's uh, my buddy Nick walking that way. But we will be seeing another person in the motorcycle world, but I'm gonna, you'll see when we actually go to see him. So we got a three hour flight to Dallas from Ontario, California, if you guys know where that's at. Um, first time I've flown since I was 17. So, and first I'm doing a vlog travel video like this, so wish me luck. All right guys, we made it to Dallas, Texas. I got my buddy Nick with me for this trip. He was kind enough to do this adventure with me as we get lost at the Dallas airport. But uh, we're meeting up with friends soon and the adventure continues. Well guys, of course we didn't get any video together, but Love Nuts Guapo, I got to meet him out in Dallas, Texas and get this truck off of him. Uh, well, we're gonna lead into that, a little storytelling, some video uh, later, and, uh, I'll be safe. All that fun stuff. There she goes. Out to California. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that truck. Oh, that's such a good looking truck. And just like that, she gone. YouTube, so you guys can see all the uh, video work there for the blazer. Well, two door Tahoe from Lugnuts Guapo. That dude is amazing when it comes to video work and drone work. Like, dude, your editing is just so badass. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, so, yeah, you guys, uh, where to start when it came to getting this truck? Now, uh, it is a 98 two-door Tahoe. Um, I still consider it a Blazer because they just took away the Blazer name back in the day. And uh, I think about 95, 96, something like that. And switched it over to just the Tahoe. Um, well, it really starts, let's see, let's go way back to the beginning here. Now, I do have a 1985 Dodge pickup that we are, it's four by four. We're doing a whole project with that and I hope to get a lot of video for that. Um, we're doing a motor swap rewire all, all that all that fun stuff now I started kind of looking around just for a uh, just for a, a daily um, you know I was riding the bikes only um, which was great we had some shitty weather I had to ride in that also but um, I started looking at all kinds of cars and I started looking at a Hyundai Veloster and I was like you know what in a couple years I could probably give this to my daughter she's gonna be 16 in just two years um, and I went and looked at one on a lot. You know, they had it for 9880 on the sticker on the window. And I was like, okay, you know what? That's not bad. It's a super clean car. Um, let's go look at it, you know? I go to the dealer. And, you know, I'm looking to make a deal. It's a used car. I don't have to have this car. And they, they're telling me, you know, oh, cash price is this, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, you take cash nine. We take nine grand cash, you know? 
nothing crazy. 800 bucks off the asking. And no, 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 no. It's on the sticker right here. I'm like, okay, so 98 out the door? No, 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 no. You got to pay tax and license. You're not even you're not even coming down like 20 bucks. Like you don't even want to say there's a chance. Let's see what what can happen. Cool. That car has been there a couple months. It's probably gonna be there a couple more months. Um, we were we were running errands. The wife behind the kids and uh, it's like you know what. Guapo had that uh, that blazer, man. Like I'm gonna check out his post. I go to his Instagram. It doesn't say sold on the post. He hasn't posted anything about it being sold. Maybe it's still there. So I get on the Instagram and I, you know, I message, you know, it's like, I'm just going to message him. Let's see, let's see if he still has the truck. Because I really love the truck. I had a 1994 Blazer that was 4x4. Uh, this one's not 4x4. And I, I, well, I like that idea. You know, especially since I have the Dodge that's 4x4. Sure enough, he hits me back within like a, a couple minutes. Yeah, I still got it. No way. So that starts our journey. I buy a plane ticket, fly to Dallas with my buddy Nick, and we go, we get there. I do an oil change just because we do have like 1,400 miles ahead of us, and I hit the road and come on back. And this is one of those long trips. I don't know if you guys have done those before, but uh, so right now I'm pulling into the stereo shop, and she's getting an upgraded alarm and stereo. And uh, so I'll. I'm going to keep updating you guys on this truck too. So stay safe, stay classy. You guys.